So this problem says to find the greatest common factor of these two expressions, 27v to the power of 4, w to the power of 5, x to the power of 7, and 18w to the power of 3, x to the power of 2. The first thing we want to look at is we want to find the greatest common factor of 27 and 18. The numbers are a little bit tricky, so let's go straight to the letters first and then come back to the numbers. If we look at, we have v, we have v to the power of 4 in this term, but we don't have any v's in this term. So when you only have a letter in one term and not in the other, we'll skip that one. So we'll skip the v to the power of 4. Let's look at the comparing the w to the power of 5 and w to the power of 3. We always take the smaller exponent when we're finding greatest common factor. So we'll take, because since 3 is smaller than 5, we'll take a w to the power of 3. And similarly, since um, we have an x to the power of 7 and x to the power of 2, 2 is smaller than 7, so we'll take an x to the power of 2. Always take the smaller exponent. So now let's talk about the numbers. What I like to do is I like to write the numbers out to the side, 27 and 18, and then write all the factors of each one. So let's start with 1 times the number, so 1 times 27, and then is there anything 2 times anything that would be 27? No, it's odd, so that doesn't work. 3 times 9 is 27, so that's another one. Can we do 4? No. Can we do 5? No. 6? No. 7? No. 8? No. And then we get back to 9, so we're done. And all of these are the factors of 27. 18, we can do the same thing. 1 times 18. We always start with 1 in the number. Then let's try 2. 18 is even, so 2 does work. And 2 times 9 is 18. Next, let's go to 3. So 3, 3 times what is 18? 3 times 6 is 18. So those are factors. Let's go to 4. Anything times 4 that equals 18? No, that doesn't work. How about 5? No, nothing. 5 times anything can't get to 18. And then we're back to 6. So once we're back to this smaller number on the bottom on the right, then we can stop. From here, we want to compare the factors and find the largest one on each side. So the biggest number of all of these factors that's common between the two is 9. We also have 3, but that's not the biggest one. We want to look to see if we find the biggest one, because so we're looking for greatest common factor, not just any common factor, but the greatest common factor. So now that we've found the greatest common factor, we'll put that 9 out in front. And we have the numbers taken care of and the letters, so this would be our answer. So I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please like the video and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see similar problems worked out in a video. Um, feel free to leave any comments that you have of questions or other problems that you'd like to see a video on. Also, I have information down in the description for information about contacting me through email or on my Facebook page or other ways such as that. I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching.